Okay, welcome to the next video on intervals. Today we're going to look at minor, diminished and augmented intervals. Here's a little bit of revision first off. We have our major scale here and we also have the scale degrees. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we've got the intervals above that. So here's our perfect unison, our major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, etc. When we do look at intervals, we all have to identify two things. We have to identify the quality and the distance. And remember, when identifying the distance, the first note is 1. So for instance, here we've got a second, and we go from C to D. From C to D is 1. 1, 2. From C to D is 2. 1, 2. And from C to A is a 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just counting every single note there, and we get the distance. Distance refers to how many lines away or letter names the notes are. The quality refers to how many semitones are between the two notes. So let's do a little one here. So identifying... The interval is a two-stage process. First step, as you all know, is identifying the distance, and second is identifying the quality. So to count the distance, again, as we said in the last slide, we simply count up the distance between the two notes. So C, D, E, this has to be some type of a third. Remember, when counting the distance, the note is 1. To identify the quality, we need to count the semitones. And remember, when we're counting the semitones, the first note is zero. So you can use your fretboard, the chromatic scale, or a keyboard. Then, once we've got these semitones, we look them up on the semitone chart, which is here on the right. So let's do this one now. We already know it's some type of a third. We're going to check to make sure what type of a third it is. So C to E, we count the semitones. So one, two, three, four. We've got four semitones and we look on our interval chart and see what has four semitones. It is some type of a third so we know we're in the right ballpark and it is a major third so this one here is going to be a major third. Okay. So from our last lesson you should have copied down this interval chart which has these intervals in it there. If you don't have that copy it down now Pause the video and copy it down. All right, we're going to move on to the nitty gritty of today's lesson, which is minor intervals, diminished intervals, and augmented intervals. But here we've got C to E flat, and this is only three semitones. So we go C, one, two, three, E flats, enharmonically the same as D sharp, three semitones. And if we look on our new table, we've got a minor third has three semitones. Okay, you're going to copy down this table in the next slide. So copy down this table and fill in the gaps. When a major interval is flattened by a semitone, it becomes a minor interval. So this will be a minor third and it will have how many semitones? Three. Correct. Perfect fourth has how many? Five, six, for the tritone, which is also known as the augmented fourth or the diminished fifth, and fill those out. Okay, pause the slide and fill them out. So here is the slide all filled out. Check your answers and make sure you get them correct because you're going to be referring to this when you do all of your questions on in our next lesson. So note that we've got every single semitone from 1 to 12 here, and we've got every single interval going down here, okay? So you just need to memorize a few of them and then check them off as to where you are. If you ever get stuck in an exam, you can always write this out, but by the time you get to the exam, you won't need to do that because you'll be so fluent in this, you'll be flying along. All right, let's start now with a diminished interval. When a minor interval is flattened by a semitone, it becomes a diminished. So we've got here C to D flat, which is a minor second. 
because it only has one semitone difference. You can check that on the chart in the last slide. What happens though when we write C to D double flat is it becomes a diminished second. So when we flatten a minor interval, it becomes a diminished interval. Okay. I'm going to play you now a minor second and a diminished second. Note that that sounds like the exact same note. And if you were listening to it orally, you would just write that as a C. But when you're writing it, the gods of music decided that this is, if this is how you write it, this is what you must call it. Okay? So written and orally are slightly different. Remember that? And remember the rules, rules, rules. Now let's have another look at another one. So we're going to check the distance first on this one. So we've got E to G here. So E to G is going to be some type of a third and we need to check the, the semitones to make sure we've got the quality right. So E to G, let's find it. E, one, two, three is three semitones, so it's got to be a minor third. Great, we counted the distance, it was three, minor third, that checks out. Well, but what happens now when we've got E to G flat? You might come across this question in the exam, and so this is how you'd approach it. You find E, so go E, one, two, remember F is the same as G flat. Now you've only got two semitones, and you're thinking it should be a major second. But because you follow the two-step process and you counted the distance first, so one, two, three, you know it has to be some type of a third. So it goes E, F, G. That's three letter names away. So it has to be some type of third, but it only has two semitones. What would we have to do to this type of a third to make it only have two semitones. We would flatten the minor third, which is three semitones, to make it two semitones. Okay? So we have a diminished interval here. To reiterate, a minor interval flattened by a semitone becomes a diminished interval. Okay? So when you look at that and it doesn't make sense for some reason, you're expecting it to be either three or four semitones because it's a third away and it's two, you've now got to modify your name to make it fit some way in a third. So you now call this a diminished third. And when a perfect interval is flattened by a semitone, it also becomes a diminished interval. So here we've got our perfect fifth from C to G, and we can count the semitones between that to see what it should be. So we can go from C to G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that checks out. It's our perfect fifth. One, two, three, four, five, checks out. Let's check this interval here, C to G flat. C, one, two, three, four, five. That is some type of a fifth, but when we count the semitones, look what happens. We go C, one, two, three, four, five, six. We only get six semitones. So what do we call it? We call it a diminished fifth. Remember, it has to be a fifth because it's five letter names away or five spaces. Now, in this one, it would be incorrect to write a tritone. That's how it would sound, and that's why I've written it there. But it's actually a fifth, and it's been flattened, so it's a perfect interval that's been flattened and now is a diminished interval. It was some type of a fifth, that was flattened by a semitone to become the six semitones and now it's some type of a fifth, a diminished fifth. Okay, let's look at another example here. So this is not a diminished interval. We've got a major third here, so C to E, 
C, D, E, and it is four semitones away. We know that from the previous slide. But what happens here is we count our semitones and we come up with five semitones for this example here, from C to E sharp. So if five semitones have to be a perfect fourth, but we've counted our distance at the start and we've gone one, two, three. So it has to be some type of a third. So it's got five semitones. What's happened? The distance in between these two notes has been augmented. Okay? Augmented. So when I get my breast augmentation, my breasts get bigger. So we're making this interval in between these two notes bigger. We're augmenting it, just like my breasts. So here we go. What type of interval is this one going to be? It's going to be some type of a third, an augmented third. Augmented intervals. Write this down. A major interval raised by a semitone becomes an augmented interval. Pause the slide. We also have another interval that when it gets raised by a semitone becomes augmented and that is the perfect interval. So a perfect interval raised by a semitone also becomes augmented. Okay, perfect fifth. If we were to flatten the perfect fifth, it's a diminished interval. If we are to raise it, sharpen it from our perfect fifth, it becomes augmented. Now copy down this table just to help you remember. So when we're sharpening something, we raise it up, it gets augmented. When we're flattening or lowering something, it becomes diminished. So a minor, when it gets raised or sharpened, becomes major. When a major becomes raised or sharpened, it becomes augmented. Likewise, when a major gets flattened by a semitone, it becomes minor. When a minor gets flattened by a semitone, it becomes diminished. Okay, this one here is perfect. It's just perfect. So a perfect interval sharpened becomes augmented and a perfect interval flattened becomes diminished. So write down this chart, very important to remember this. Okay, this is another way of just saying exactly the same thing. Diminished, when it's sharpened becomes minor, when that's sharpened it becomes major, when a magic is sharpened, it becomes augmented. And likewise, the other way, when it's flattened and augmented, it becomes major. A major becomes minor and becomes diminished. Flatten a perfect interval, it becomes diminished. Sharpen a perfect interval, it becomes augmented. Okay, let's do an example. Let's identify an interval. What do we need to know? We need to remember that we have to first count the distance and then identify the quality. We count the semitones to identify the quality, and then we check it against the chart. So here's our chart here. Here's our interval, which we have to identify. And here's our chromatic scale. Let's have a look. What have we got? We've got C to A flat. So we got to count the distance, the first thing. C, D, E, F, G, A. That is how many? Six. So it has to be some type of a sixth. Alright, so let's now count the semitones and then we'll check the chart. So C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we've got 6 uh, is the distance and we've got 8 is the semitones. So we go over here, we've got a minus 6 equals 8 semitones, so that all checks out. It is a minor 6. Happy days. Let's have a look at another one. We've got F to A sharp. So it has to be some type of a third. F, G, A. Let's check out the semitones and check it against the chart. So F to A sharp is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's a third, but we've got five semitones. So what's happened to it? It's been augmented. This third has been augmented or made bigger, like my breasts. So it is now an augmented third. All right, let's have a look at a few more examples. 
Let's have a look at writing a diminished third. How do we go about that? Well, here's our C. First, we're going to write the distance. Let me get my little pen out. Pen, 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 pen. We count the distance. So C, D, E. That's our third. And by now, you're getting to know that this, the third is stacked upon each other like that. And it looks like a little snowman. Okay. So what we've got to do next is we've got to count the semitones to make sure it's correct. And we're going to check it against the chart. So C to E is how many semitones? One, two, three, four semitones. Good. That's good. So for our diminished third, we're expecting it to be less than a minor third because when a minor gets flattened, it becomes a diminished. So we're expecting it to have two semitones. Unfortunately, it's got four. So we need to do something drastic. That looks good. That's a double flat. Two flats together equals a double flat. Okay? And if we count the semitones between C and E double flat, we get only two. So let's do it now. One, two, E double flat, C to D. Excellent. Let's give ourselves a tick. Shazam. All right. Make sure you've taken down the notes and I'll see you in class where we'll go on with more fun and frivolities in the augmented, the diminished and the minor intervals.